Major Kaira is enraged because of the two reasons. Ahmad's death in Afghanistan two weeks ago in Pakistan alliance with the West while overlooking the brutality of West in Afghanistan. However, up next, one of his students gives list of those boys who want to go to jihad to Afghanistan. In the list, Kaira sees the names of Joe and Mikal. Since he was already angry with Rohan and his sons, Joe and Mikal, Kaira gets curious and asks more about them. Besides, he believes that Rohan proved himself as an infidel by quitting the noble services to the Taliban headquarters in Arden Spirit School. Nonetheless, the charity headquarters which sends boys to battlefields and war zones is run by Kaira. Now, Kaira wants both Joe and Mikal to be thrown to the heart of war or bring the war to where they are. Analysis In this chapter, there is little yet significant progression in the story. It highlights the dark realities of religious fanaticism and the diabolic activities done in the name of Islam. However, the following critical dimensions have been highlighted in this chapter. Unmasking the financial motive behind Kaira's Jihad The chapter opens with the pregnant statement. When the coin is minted, the devil kisses it. It means that money carries black tents. It makes people blind to make difference between what is good and what is bad. It is surprising to note that the overloaded statement is immediately followed by the introduction of new character Major Kaira. Major Kaira is an antagonist in the novel. He is a punching bag of all the terrorist activities. In this connection, it is explicitly shown that behind every terrorist activity, Kaira has materialistic and financial motives. He is the chief of Taliban headquarters and ardent spirit school. However, it is evident in the novel that the charity is a facet. Boys and young men are transformed into jihadi warriors behind it. Kaira misused religion in order to satisfy his ego to gain money. In the name of holy jihad and Islam, he tempts boys and young men to set his own evil plans in motion, moving, moving them to be great warrior saints, brilliant in deceit against the West and its sympathizer here at home. The second major theme highlighted in this chapter is religious violence, which means that violence is done in the cloak of religion. But the question is whether violence is really done in the name of religion? No, obviously not. To explain it, I would like to draw your attention 
to the contradictory situation which is there in the novel. To begin with, on the one hand, Major Kaira tries to convince us by saying that we are not men of hate, but we must be men of justice. But on the other hand, he brainwashes credulous boys to exploit them for his devilish purposes. To do this, he even changes again, again and again the premise of the ordained spirit school so that to bring it down to suit his evil purposes. Nowadays, it says, is, Islam is the purpose of life and death. The adding of death to the premise is an exploitative element to sanction his terrorist activities done through the jihadi boys. We see that the same issue of tempting boys for religious violence has been questioned and criticized inside the chapter by Rohan. The reason with which Rohan is forced out of the school. Killing of innocent people by the jihadist boys is the thing Rohan questions. Furthermore, the chapter showcases another reason that becomes Kaira manipulative tool to give religious shape to his sinister intention and in that is the 9-11 incident. Kaira believes that 9-11 is a state drama of America to invade Muslim countries one by one. But his soundness of intention can be questioned when he convinces innocent Muslim boys to shed another innocent Muslim's blood. Finally, Kaira relentlessly and purposely wants both Joe and Mikal to be thrown to the heart of war that shows Kaira's demonic intention.